man. We're out here at Marathon Florida today. Beautiful blue water, 15 knot wind. We're gonna go out and do some deep dropping for some snowies, maybe some yellow edge, some tile fish. If we bring back some dinner tonight. And uh, then we're gonna go hit the humps after three or four o'clock and see what the tuna action is like and hopefully find some mahis in between. We were thinking about going to the sword grounds. We're gonna do that tomorrow because the weather will be much better tomorrow than it is today. And uh, we're gonna go out there and go hunt and see what we can find. We got a full crew today. So it's just not me and Captain Planzo, fortunately. We you got, oh, hands we on got some muscle and we're part the fucking fish are gangsters. <laughs> we got some muscle on this boat. And we got a girl to take care of everything. So she's gonna do all the cleaning and all the cooking. I'm the muscle. You're the muscle? We got a fishing gal on the boat today, so we're gonna we're gonna test her knowledge and see what she catches. Peace. It's a beautiful deep drop rig the best deep drop rig i've ever seen made by andrew thorpe lighthouse point world renowned andrew thorpe caught everything there is to catch uh, i can't get a deep drop rig better than this look at this he's got a squid on top and the big ones always take the big squid then we've got a bunch of little jigs with hooks on there that imitate little squids and we'll put some cut bait on there all the way down the line but look how colorful it is this thing is a winner winner chicken dinner Double hook up on the deep drop, first drop, Marathon Florida, baby, fish gang. Getting ready to rob some fish, robbing them. <laughs> All right, so I just hooked up on the bottom. We got a three knot current today, which is really ripping with only five pounds of weight. But it's you know, a little bit on the bottom, as much as I can, competing at line, so the boat doesn't drag it. So we got somebody manning the helm, making sure the line stays vertical. And we're gonna see what we got here. This is a really stout rod, so it could be a 20 pound gripper or a five pound tile, but we'll see in a minute. Tile. Another tile. Yeah. Smaller one. I'll just get up next up there. Give us a group. We robbed him. Bang, 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 bang. We robbed him. Tile. Fired it right in the face. Bring him up, bring him up. Two tiles. Holy shit. No, don't, even, don't even do that. Just, just grab the just grab the weight and um, get him in. Holy oh, fuck. Oh, yeah, look at that. Somebody got crushed. No, I thought this was a, uh, just a. No, he's in the water. He's in the water. So we just hammered out some tiles, some nice tiles. We had three keeper tiles and had one keeper mahi show up at the boat. And so now we're heading over to our grouper hole. The bottom we just worked was we've never worked before. It was never a mark. We just ran over it and we said, hey, that looks pretty good. There's some nice structure down there. We saw some bit, some bait welded up on the bottom. We're like, all right, let's go work this right now. We worked it and we have three tile out, out of it by an hour with a three and a half knot current, by the way. Oh, Where's the grouper? Another yellow. Good job. Oh, Whoa, it. Actually. What is that? That's a weird. What is that? He's hooked on that one. Here, work me out if you don't mind. I want to take a picture. Oh, it's a big old car. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Big tires. Big ass tires. Nice. Fish. Yeah, too much of it. Nice gray line. Another coat of bow. Yeah. Alright. Alright, bring it forward. Real belly shot. Reels are spinning, baby. Fish are coming up. We're like stopping the reel, putting up a fight. Bang, bang, fish gang, we're robbing them. <laughs> bang, bang, bang. So we're looking for bubbles that are coming up because the grouper will release gas as they start to elevate. Here we go, we got some color. We got bubbles, it's snowing. Big Holy shit. 
That's right, baby. That's what we do out here. Out right here at Fish Game. That's what the fuck I'm talking about. That's right, baby. Look at the size of that fucker. Holy cow, he's huge. That's a 35 pound fish, 30 pounds at least. Oh, yeah. The big boy. That's right. Good job. Good job. We do out right here at Fish Game. All right. <laughs> all right, so this was the rig that caught the big giant yellow edge here. And we're all going to take a pull here. This rig, though, this deep drop rig, you don't see them made like this. Notice how the squid at the very, there's a squid at the very top. And then you've got more of a, of a less impressive jig head. It's a miniature squid down the line here, and then a, and then bigger jig heads down the line. But you can't find these types of rigs, so you got to make them yourself. My buddy Andrew Thorpe made this, so I want to thank you, Andrew. We, we landed this big yellow edge, and so we caught this hog today on this rig, and everyone in the circle here, our little fish gang, is going to guess how much this thing weighs. I'm going to say probably 32.8 pounds. Somewhere between 30 and 35. What are you going to say, Talia? Um, 33 and a half. I'm going to say 29. What do you say, Jackson? 35. I'm going big. What do you say, Captain Mike? 29. 29? All right, I'm going 30 for sure. All right, let's get those hooks up here, Captain Mike, and take a look. See what she weighs. She's breaking my arm right here. <laughs> let, me get, let me get out there. You got it? Yeah. All right, what's the lucky number? 24. What? <laughs> what a letdown. 24. That always happens. She's Whoa. not calibrated. See, you always over. The lesson is 25. you. 25. 25? Put some ice in its mouth. You always <laughs> underestimate the size of the fish. It never fails. But look at this hog. This fish looks way bigger than 25. But he's a big boy. And uh, we had a great day today. We caught one, two, three, four, five, six gray lines. We caught a giant California yellowtail down there in 700 feet. And then we, we popped a couple of schoolers from Mahis that came up and swam around the boat. And then we had another yellow edge that we caught today. So you can say that Marathon, Florida, the offshore grounds are fertile. And uh, we're going to be eating well tonight. Stay tuned for the next, next thing we catch tomorrow. Tomorrow we're going for swords. Peace out. Yep.